<sighs> What's up guys? More behind the scenes footage here. So I'm about to do the Planet X Ultra Magnus review. So I've got him in truck mode already, but for comparison's sake, I've got to get Optimus and then also Optimus and Ultra Magnus, the old Hasbro ones, into truck mode as well. So I figured I'd do little behind the scenes, kind of like we did with Devastator and just trying to get stuff done. <sighs> now, one thing I've discovered, at least in having Ultra Magnus for a while, while based off of this mold, uh, there's a lot of uh, the new stuff is, is problematic as I'll get to, like, I didn't get to do an out of the box review, but the, uh, the new parts and stuff like that, that they add on as armor to make him like an APC or something like that, or whatever that is called, like an armored truck situation, um, is very much not accurate to the, uh, to the actual design in game. Now, Ultra Magnus wasn't a main character or anything like that in the Fall for Fall of Cybertron games, but he uh, was in the multiplayer version or things like that when you could go back through and do other stuff. So we do actually see what his truck form looked like, and they captured like the front end, but that's about it. Like they didn't. They could have remolded a lot of this figure to make it accurate to the game and still have kind of that transformation. But because I think they were more focused on reusing this Optimus mold again, like they already did Nemesis. So I guess they just really wanted to do... I don't know which one came out first, to be totally honest, but they both have... Uh, molds out there. So they have Nemesis and they have that. Now Nemesis as far as I know wasn't in the game either. But I thought it's funny. They didn't do a Shattered Glass version. Like it's kind of commonplace now for even third party companies to do a Shattered Glass Prime along with all their other ones. They just didn't. I'm having the biggest problem I've always had with this thing is how these legs transform. There we go. Not to mention he's a little stiff. I haven't messed with him in a while and like the way they have the armor combine onto him for truck mode or actually I'm sorry in bot mode is interesting to say the least but the truck mode is where they've lost lost the ball a little bit at least for me like I was excited to see that they had one coming and then when I saw how much of a change they had done I was less excited um and then, of course, his kind of middling uh, accessories, especially his hammer, is so woefully small. It's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> like if I was if I was Ultra Magnus, so to speak, I would be like, uh, "Yeah, y'all y'all better do me better than this because this is ridiculous." Um, <sighs> okay, so the main key. To doing that, so you've got basically a let's see, one, two, three. you got a triple, you got a triple hinge set up in here. For if I've never covered it in depth, so hinge, hinge, big swivel part here. So the foot and this back armor here, that's usually the back of the leg, or it becomes the thrusters for the back of the truck mode. Those have to swivel kind of around each other through the core of the leg, and until you have all those hinges in the right spot to do that it gets pretty difficult but one thing that's interesting about the ultra magnus transformation at least going to bot mode is that it leaves the legs so to speak almost entirely in vehicle mode to pull it off and like he'll use the where these thrusters are uh, those will come off and the feet plug in there so actually the reusing of parts is smart if not annoying because they didn't give us a full-on new mold, and I feel like they could have. Or at least, like, the legs were uh, mostly similar. Like, 
but they could have elongated things a little bit. But then, like, they could have modified the arms and stuff like that to truly transform, like, Ultra Magnus. I didn't need it to be uh, a Prime clone to make a good Ultra Magnus. I think that that's not key to the design of the character. I mean, like, figure-wise, sure, but not lore-wise. It doesn't have to always be that way. I mean, not everybody's going to agree, but... Oh, no. The peg broke off. Well, that ain't good. This first time I saw that, and the peg totally broke off in the back there. That sucks. I don't know, native truck mode, and well, he's always going to be in bot mode, so there's that. Older figure. It happens. Though the irony being that I just got this, and they just showed off the full-on metallic-coated version of Prime. Like, they're just like, hey, look, we're going to have a metallic one. Nobody cares. Give us Bumblebee. Give us Sideswipe. Give us the other car bots, and give us the Decepticons we're missing. We still need a sound wave and a shock wave. All the above. Give us our waves. Like, they're just, there's more figures they need to do, and they're wasting time with metallic repaints that nobody buys. They did two of the Dinobots. They did Grimlock, and they did Swoop in metallics. And, frankly, I don't know anybody who bought those, for the most part. If Because we weren't sure, at that point, how many more they're going to do. And the only new figure they've shown in silhouette is an IDW Grimlock that nobody's asking for. It's really strange. They're like, hey, we know you guys are actually waiting for more Fall of Cybertron stuff, but we're going to keep doing more IDW stuff. Because I did that IDW uh, Deathsaurus and Star Saber, which are fine figures, I guess. I mean, most people don't need those from this company. They're waiting on all the Warf Cybertron stuff. I mean, there's like a slightly slight shared aesthetic to that line but it's just the idea that hey we're waiting for you to finish this line can you do that before you start introducing other stuff that nobody necessarily is asking for <laughs> it's like please you know don't want to seem ungrateful i mean i would rather get a six piece or a five piece bruticus because, you know, those characters were in the frickin' game. Like, they haven't even attempted, like, a combiner yet. And combiners are all the rage right now. So, if a uh, good, not quite MP-scaled version of War for Cybertron Bruticus, I know people would be absolutely down for. So, give us that instead of the crap you are giving us. Where is my peg hole? There it is. I've not transformed this Prime in a little while, and I can tell he's definitely stiff in a lot of regards. Okay, so that's all done there. I can plug that up to here. I will say there's there's some uh, clearance things that have been slightly changed on Ultra Magnus. Like, I feel like things that were super sticky on this guy are easier to maneuver on him, but there's also things that are definitely some form of mold degradation. And while they have the Nemesis Prime version, I'm not keen on getting that. It's like, I don't, it's one of the things I'm definitely not after 100%. He's neat, but unless he really goes on sale, I've got no reason to get him. Even though I have like Nemesis Primes of like all my other little like legend scale Primes and stuff like that, and even my MP bots. Okay, so that's not happy. But yeah, at this point, I'm, now that that's broken off, I'm a little more scared of plastics. Because it is, I guess, metallic, swirly kind of plastic. I'm more worried about it coming apart over time now. Come on, plug in there. Good enough. Now, real quick, I need to do the other two. Now, normally, you guys know I do these things a little bit easier, but because I needed to transform him back into 
uh, car mode, but it didn't film a Taro for that. I should have. I might skip Taro on this one. Um, not sure. But either way. And then, of course, because he's got the comparisons between the regular Prime mold, I need to do that. And then sort of be able to show that you can put some of the armor on regular Prime. Hold on. So, these guys. And uh, the, except for Ratchet and Ironhide, they haven't done any other Autobots. Dinobots, sure. Autobots, no. And that bothers me. Also, strangely enough, I've got some paint fade happening here on my Ultra Magnus. Like, hasn't been in the sun or anything. A little dusky, stuff like that. But you can see here, he's going purple up here. I don't know what's going on there. Okay, let's see if I can remember how to transform these. Okay, now the head took away. Like so. That needs to flip around here. Rotate the hands. Bend at the elbow. Yeah, that's weird. That is like that's that old school Takara metallic paint. Finding the neon pink is perfectly fine. Metallic paint, on the other hand, can't stick around to save its own life. Sad day. But I am always appreciative that these transform fairly easy. <laughs> it's like, in comparison, these are a cakewalk. And the fact that I had the Hasbro and Takara versions of these at one point in time, when they were new, I stuck with the Takara because they cost more. They were some of the earliest things I got from Big Bad Toy Store. Because they're the only people, the only company, so to speak, that had these. So, he was a straight repaint with a different head of Optimus. So, you know, you can see the similarities there, but like, you know, not even close. Now, the Hasbro one was closer to the, like, real Magnus Blue. Um, but obviously this one's not... So it must be the blue thing, because look, the red's not really faded or anything like that. Oh, I did actually order some uh, repo labels. I ordered some of the 3D, like, good, thick uh, labels. I don't want I'm hesitating to call them stickers. Plus some more for my Legends, because frankly, I need more for my Legends. And uh, I wanted to add the, like, thick, the real thick, Autobot logos to these guys specifically because oddly enough Reaper Labels has never made label sets for these Planet X figures like they did all the Dinobots and I think they did Omega but I'm not sure uh, but they've done nothing ever since it's really strange like they could have and they didn't like I don't even think they did Starscream to be totally honest um, or any of the Seekers, for that matter. So they kind of gave up after the Dinobots. And I was waiting for a Prime version because he's missing so many paint apps. It's just like, it's a given that it's a necessity. Like, come on. Like, give us give us the things. I mean, I don't know if they ran into any... They usually don't run into copyright issues. Especially from third-party companies. So I don't know why they never created a sticker set for what was one of the most sought after action figures of that day. I'm gonna straighten everybody out here. So essentially, the new Planet X version is gonna look like this, all super shiny, chromey stuff. Uh, but I would almost rather pay my buddy Sean to maybe repaint something to get it there instead. But that's pretty much that. I don't know if, because only none of my Dinobots are in, and I'm not transforming my Dinobots ever again if I can help it. Seekers are the only thing I would compare in that mode, so I don't think I'm even going to bother 
I'm just gonna go with this. I do have Megatron. I'm gonna be as we've seen already. So when I get ready for that, then I'll bring out the Seekers and stuff like that. But for him, I think I'll do a Taro because then I can transform, much like we're doing here, I can transform Seekers and stuff. Um, but in the meantime, I'm gonna get on this Ultra Magnus. All right, so guys, if you were watching the review of Ultra Magnus over on the thing, you'll notice that I said I was going to try to put the Magnus armor on top of Prime, so that's what I'm gonna do. All these years, I honestly didn't know these came off that easy. Now, I doubt these will. I don't know, I was wrong about that too. Okay, so I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try real hard to do this. And only you patrons are going to see this. I assume this is going to look weird. It's always one of these that is the tough one. There we go. Now these have never been off, so the fact that they're coming off so easily is nice. To some degree. Now I don't think anything's going to take any you know, particular special treatment to apply. Now one thing that sucks is getting this on is not the easiest thing in the world unless you don't care about the stress marks in which case well there's that so that can still go on pretty easy like that although that is very crooked is it just because it's bent all the shit now i don't know it's just not where it needs to be uh one thing that is kind of vague is just the exact position of stuff sometimes is not the best like, why is that so wonky? Oh, the whole shoulder is wonky. It's not the not the bit I put on, it's the shoulder. <laughs> okay, so that's that. So let's just do the thing. Because as far as I know, those are not, it's not a different mold, so it should fit identically. And it is sitting very strange. Now I'm worried that it has now tweaked that far out of place. That is just not the easiest thing in the world to get to. Like, I had an easier time putting it on rather than getting it off. What the heck? I do have them on the right side. i double check, though. Okay, so I can get that on there. Kind of. Okay, so there's shoulder mode. And truck mode should be like that. Okay, so something is just tweaked on this side, so that's just, it is what it is. So let's just do this as quick as possible. Yep, all this started coming apart. That's worrisome. And I hate that they don't put a good enough finish that the paint won't scratch. That just annoys me. Like, come on. I'm tell you this much for this figure, and the paint scratch is that easy. So this is like bonus for you guys, so you get to see how all this attaches. In a different light, okay. So that's pretty good. What did I do with this thing? Goes here. Tuck that down and away. Hi, baby. I'm recording, but I guess as long as you're not too loud. Seriously? Yeah, you don't understand how loud that is. Okay, so what do you want me to do? What time is it? It's, it's 8.30. Okay, wait till 9. I'm ready to go to bed. I just finished my homework. 
Mm, go do what you gotta do. Is the dishwasher clean or dirty? The dishwasher's dirty. I emptied it out. Okay, so there we go. Uh, there's an Ultra Magnus Prime, which, I'm not gonna lie, not that extra blue, doesn't look bad. Red is what it is. And actually, I kind of untabbed all that by accident. So make sure that taps back together. So, I mean, that's just proof. You know, it'll go on anything. You put it on Nemesis if you're probably feeling a little like it as well. And this area can tilt up or whatever it just bothers me mostly because this could lay flat it just doesn't like it looks like there's almost enough flex because like the hinges that the way it connects to the shoulders and stuff like you'd think that you could get that to lay flat which would make it look a little bit better if you get that to lay flat and move the wheels back like just on that normal hinge that they work on then it'll probably look pretty cool but uh, I'm gonna come back with the with the addition of putting this on prime directly here. All right, so there we go. A fully dressed up prime as Ultra Magnus, and honestly, I think it looks pretty good. Not gonna lie, the extra red looks a bit better. Now we'll say the legs being that blue probably throws things off. If they were this blue, I could see it. Um, I really could. I think it looks pretty good. Now, the only piece you can't use is the extra crotch part because there's no hole there. So, that's the only mold difference between the two. But, honestly, I'm okay with that. But, uh, yeah, I actually dig that surprisingly. Uh, the red on the red actually looks very nice. I, I dare say it might be close to what Ultra Magnus should look like. I'm lying, of course. Uh, but, yeah, thanks. So, you guys got to see that and the normal people didn't so yay